When's the prototype gonna be finished? So, when are you gonna finish the prototype? When can I play your I'm game? Play oh my god, just finished the game already and let me play! You are never gonna finish, are you? I never let my friends down. So, we are gonna finish the game today. Oh, don't know about the game we're making? Just this little roguelike called Hellcorp, where you're a disgruntled employee trying to make hell great again. It's gone way too soft over the years. So you have to take on the seven sins and Satan to make hell great again. So far, we have our dungeon builder, the base player mechanics, the health system, and the beginning of our enemies. But now we need to put this all together to make this game actually playable. So let's head into the Hellcorp prototype plan. We're gonna be focusing on three main areas, mechanics, art, and music and sound effects. Looking at our enemy, it just tracks the player's location, which is great, except for when there's a wall or any sort of obstacle. So we need to delete everything we've done so far and start from scratch. There are a couple ways to beef up our enemy pathfinding. The first being the A-star method. There's a pretty cool site that can visually represent this. Essentially, you're trying to find the shortest path to the target by storing walkable nodes and obstacle nodes. But more importantly, there's a free resource from Aaron Granberg. Hey Ron, where are you? That we can just take and test this out. Unfortunately for us, the way we have our dungeon builder generating rooms, we need a path for each room. And just by clicking and dragging, we receive an error. So we're gonna move on to the second method, which is context steering. This technique essentially uses probes all around the enemy to determine whether there's areas of interest or danger all around them. You apply some math and determine which probe to follow. Thankfully, we don't need to fully understand this. We can just head over to Sunny Valley's YouTube channel as he has a four part series that makes this super simple. We'll add just a few modifications, like a wander script and the ability to see players for some enemies. And now the IQ of our enemy went from bricks to brains. But I'll let you be the judge of that, because by the end of this video, this game will be 100% playable and waiting for your feedback. I'll let you know how to play the game at the end of the video. This is a prototype after all, so your feedback is very valuable in shaping the outcome of this game. If you want our enemies to be harder, smarter, or dumber, you let us know and we'll make that happen. But next up in making this game awesome is we need to add some power up. This was actually a really simple process. We just created some scriptable objects that can mutate the values of our player's stats, added that onto a object when the player collided, used some beautiful particles to make it explode, and now our player can get speed power-ups, multi-shot, health, accuracy, damage, and that's just the start. It looks like a lot of our mechanics are becoming real tight now. So time to call up Hades and get the art done. Whoa. Art. Whoa. Art. Whoa. Art! And just like that, the art was all done. We have destructible environments and post-processing. The rooms look way better with pictures and arts. Man, I wish I was an artist. That job is really easy. Game over. Three, two, one. Oh, Hades is an amazing artist. I'm so thankful to have him on my team at Hot Chick Studios here. That's better grades. Now subscribe or else. I would listen to Hades and subscribe. He means business. Anyways, one of the last steps to make this game fun and playable is to add some music and sound effects. Well, I have been known to play a tune or two. but I'm gonna delegate this process to someone way more talented than me, my wife. I'll be right back. Could you please make music for our game? All we have left to do is to take that awesome melody, throw it into FL Studios, and this is what we're left with. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time for some sound effects. Blah. 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 
And that is essentially how sound design and effects are made. We added some post-processing and most of these are in the game now, but for the missing effects we needed, I just hopped into one of the sound packs I picked up from Humble Bundle one month and we added those for the rest. Now, since the boss was out of scope, but we need it to play the game, what we're gonna do is just take the Basidic, make them four times the size, add 2000 health, and call that good. And finally, to close off the game loop, we added a start screen to tell you what level you're on and an end screen to tell you whether you beat the game or you've died or you've progressed to a new level. If you want to play the game and give us feedback, just head to hotchickstudios.itch.io, link in the description, and give the game a shot. Like I said, this is the first prototype and we're going to be making ongoing adjustments to this moving forward. By the time you see this video, we might already have two, three levels finished, some killer boss fights, and even better sound effects. I know that's hard to believe, but anything's possible. As promised, if you haven't checked out my first video, I have a $100 prize hidden in there, and I promise to give a hint if no one solved it. And as I'm recording this, no one has. I would definitely recommend checking out the chapters because there's a special character that tells you how many numbers you can find each time. The video will be linked right here. And thank you everybody for joining us on this journey. I can't wait to show you what's coming up next.